Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to integrate this given example. And we will integrate this problem by using this method called integration by parts. And this is the formula, the integration by parts formula that we will be using during this process. So let's go ahead and get started with integration process. Since we are using integration by parts, so I'm going to call this e power x as u and this the other stuff, whole stuff, I'm going to call it dv. What that means is I'm going to say let u equals to e power x and on the other side dv I'm going to say equal to cosine of x dx. So that means if u equals to e power x then the derivative du is going to be simply e power x dx. So far so good. And on this side over here we need to find v. So we're going to put an integral on both sides and do you know that d and integral they undo each other so we simply ended up with v equals to the integral of cosine is simply sine of x. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and start working with integration by parts. So this is an integral of u times dv that is equivalent to what? uv minus v du. So what is well, I'm going to put down u is in our case is e power x times v is sine of x minus the integral of v in our case is sine of x times du in our case is e power x times d of x. So far so good. So let's go ahead and simplify it a little bit further. I can write e power x sine of x negative and I'm going to rewrite this thing. I'm going to put e power x first and then I'm going to put down sine of x times dx. And on the left hand side for sure you know that this is simply e power x cosine of x dx. I'm going to call this one equation number one. Just keep in your mind. Now we are going to go ahead and take care of the integral of this part. So we will be once again using the integration by parts method for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it this stuff on the separate page. So we are going to do this part on the separate page and then we will go back to our equation number one. So I'm going to call this one this part as u e power x and the rest the whole thing is dv. What that means is I'm going to say let u equal to e power x and our dv is simply sine of x d of x. So if u equals to e power x then du equals to e power x the derivative e power x times d of x and here we want to find v on this side so we going to take the integral on both sides and you know that that the d and the integral they undo each other we got v equal to negative cosine of x so let's go ahead and put this thing this is by integration by part this formula this could be written as u v minus the integral of v d u so u is how much in our case u is e power x time 
v is negative cosine of x minus v is negative cosine of x times du is e power x d of x. So far so good. Now what we're going to do is I want you to put this negative sign in the front e power x times cosine of x. This negative and this negative both become positive. I can put positive and the integral of e power x cosine of x dx. So this is what we got right now, the value right up here. Now we're going to go back to our original equation. So we are back to our original problem, equation number one. So we just figured out the integral of this one. Let's go ahead and put it down what we did in the previous page. So that was, of course, that was, let me just put down this one over here was uh, negative e power x cosine of x that's right isn't it and then plus integral of e power x cosine of x dx so this whole thing i just put it down let's go ahead and fill in the blanks the rest i'm going to put down this one right up here which is e power x sine of x minus again outside and I'm going to put down this thing as well okay e power x cosine of x dx let's go ahead and simplify this one so I can write this one over here e power x sine of x once you put a, this negative sign, negative and negative becomes positive, isn't it? We're going to open up this thing. So this is going to be e power x cosine x. This negative and positive becomes negative e power x cosine of x dx. And for sure, we have this one on this side, e left hand side e power x cosine of x dx. The next step I want you to go ahead and look at this one over here. This quantity, this integral, I want to move it on the left hand side. Once we move this one on the left hand side, this negative become positive. So that's going to become simply e power x is already there cosine of x dx when we move this one on the left hand side this negative become positive integral of e power x cosine of x dx and that is equal to the left over this one is e power x sine of x and then we had a plus sign e power x cosine of x. So far so good. Now you can see we have the same integrals twice, isn't it? I want you to just simply add them up. So that's going to be simply adding the map means two times e power x cosine of x dx equals to over here. This is of course that's going to be e power x sine of x plus e power x cosine of x. Now I want you to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 and I'm going to divide this one 2 as well. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So that's what we got is e power x cosine of x dx turns out to be 1 over 2 and in parentheses you can put down e power x sine of x plus e power x cosine of x and finally you have to add an arbitrary constant c.
and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos